All right, I just want to make sure that everybody remembers how to use the scale ruler. Now remember the scale ruler has multiple scales in it on the same blade. So it has this funny little shape because we're trying to get as many scales on the ruler as possible. So now the one we're going to use most often in class is this one. I actually got to flip it over here. The quarter inch ruler. And unfortunately, quarter inch means that we're going from right to left. So you see it, we start at zero and then we go to one, two, three, four, and so on. So we're moving, unfortunately, from right to left and we're working in quarter inch scale. What I want to do right now is to show you, just take, we're going to take a look at the one inch and the half inch side of this blade here, just to make it sort of easy to see in the video. So remember, if we take a look at this ruler here, I'm just going to grab a pen and write right on it. So we can see, we've got this little dollhouse ruler, whoops, little dollhouse ruler right now here that we, we use to measure inches, and we'll talk about that next. But first, we've got the zero there, of course, and then the very first number we run into at the beginning here is 10. Now that's not obviously 10 feet, right, because this is in half inch scale. So one half inch equals one foot zero inches, right? So for every half inch that we're measuring, we're getting one foot. So that's obviously not 10 feet, that's, that's just one half of an inch. So the 10 here is coming from the other direction. So we've got the one inch scale that's going from left to right, remember? So we start off at zero and then one and two and three and four and so on, all the way down until we get to 10 at the opposite end of the ruler. So that's 10 feet in the one inch to the foot scale, this scale over here, one inch equals one foot zero inches. So we're gonna ignore that one. And we're just gonna look at this and say, all right, that's actually one right there. The two is the next one we come across, that one's right. And then nine becomes three and four is good. And eight is five, six is fine. And then seven is correct in both directions. There's always one number on the blade for whichever scale, it'll be different for each one, but that it's right in both directions. And so don't let that freak you out. And eight and then nine, 10, 11, 12, and so on, right? So we're just kind of going down the blade, skipping every other one. And the spacing is a little different depending on the scale. Um, sometimes there's not even a number there. You just have to count lines to figure out what it is. That's very much the case on the quarter inch scale. But that gives you the idea how this works. So I wanna just measure a couple of these lines. We use a scale ruler in two different ways. One, to measure an existing line, like one of these two lines. And then of course to draw lines in scale. I'm just gonna throw the actual regular ruler on here right now so that you can see that this first line here is actually four inches long in real scale. So it's four inches long in the actual regular scale. I'm just going to flip over here to the one inch scale and we're going to measure this line as if it were in one inch equals one foot zero inches, which means every inch in, in, on the piece of paper is going to equal one foot in full scale. So I can put the zero down, scoot you here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put the zero right there, right at the end of the line. And you don't even need to look at the ruler to see that, yep, four, it's four feet long because it's four inches long. So that one, you don't even really need the ruler for. You can just sort of do the, you know, it's really easy to do the math in your head there. But what happens if we then decide this wants to be in half inch scale instead? So I've got my grubby half inch scale over here now. I'm gonna go from the other corner here, the other direction, line the zero up right there to the end of the line. And then of course, I'm gonna come around down over here and see that, yep, eight is the answer there. So in one inch scale, this equals four, foot, oops, four foot zero inches. And then over here in the half inch scale, it equals eight foot zero inches, right? So what is it in, if we move here to one quarter inch equals one foot zero inches. So what's that gonna be? Well, we can measure it. I'll measure it again just to get the practice in, but we probably already know the answer, right? So I'm gonna find the quarter inch scale in this case. Here, I'll flip over so it's right set up for you guys. I oftentimes just use it upside down. So I'm gonna line up the zero. Remember, we're reading from right to left when we're dealing with the quarter inch side of the blade here. I'm gonna put the zero right over there. I'm gonna look over here and see that, yep, 16 is how long this line is. Because we know that makes sense, right? Mathematically, this is gonna be 16 foot zero inches, right? This is doubling each time. So just one last one. We're not even gonna use the ruler for this. If we were to do 1 8th of an inch equals one foot zero inches, if we were using that scale, what would that be? Well, it's gonna be, of course, 32 feet, zero inches, right? So each one of these is doubling as we make the scale smaller. All right, okay, but what happens? Why do we need this silly little scale rule if it's that easy to do the math? Well, it's when we have lines that have inches involved. So let's go back over to our one inch scale here. So I'm gonna find my one inch ruler. I'm gonna put my zero on this end. This is super easy, right? No problem here. We know how to do this. Let me get a little bit closer down here. So one inch there, and it's 
over to the, oh, wait, oh, now we got a problem here. So if you see here, I'm going to scooch over so you can see the end of the line. That's probably useful. So we've got a line up over here, but it's, it's four foot, but it's not even quite to the half inch mark. We know that these half inch marks here are six inches, right? Because that's half of a foot. So that would be four foot, six inches if it hit the 12 there, but it doesn't. It doesn't come anywhere near to the five foot line. So we know it's longer than four feet, but not quite five feet. So what do we do? Well, what we do is we slide it over in the over to line up with the whole foot. So we know it's four foot something, right? So now it's four foot. And then we come over down over here to the little dollhouse ruler and we can look over and see, all right, that's three, six, nine, and 12, right? These long ones. And then if we look a little bit closer, I don't know if you can see that, maybe bring it up closer with the camera, let the focus kick in there. You can see the zero, three, six, nine, and 12, right? And if we put that back where it belongs, then we can see, that, all right, well, this guy is, looks like it's about, it's a little bit longer than, so three, four, five, I'd say that that's four foot, five inches, because it's not six inches, but it's definitely hitting that next line over there. So I would say that is a four foot, five inch long line. So that's where the little dollhouse ruler comes in. That's where the scale rule comes in, is when you're trying to, to draw things or measure lines that have inches involved. It gets much, much easier. Now, the other way that we do this is we say, all right, well, what happens if I wanted to draw a three foot, six inch line? We'll just make an easy one here in uh, with my ruler. So I would put a little mark here at the three foot mark. Now, it's inside the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. How about that? I'm gonna put a little mark here at the three foot mark. And I'm gonna come down here to the six foot mark on the other end. Now the temptation might be to use the scale rule to draw your lines, but what you really should do is come in with the appropriate tool. So if it's you know not any particular angle, you can just grab a triangle and connect the dots here like so or use your T-square or some combination of your tools so that you're drawing a nice straight line. So here, you get a little bit, of, bit, 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 little bit of a bleed there because I was using the pen, but you won't have that problem with a pencil. But now I've got a nice straight line that's exactly the length that I need it to be uh, from those two little dots. So the way you really wanna do this here, in fact, let's do one last one here in, in quarter inch scale, the scale you're actually gonna be drawing in. So say you wanna have a wall that's six foot, two inches long, and again, in, Quarter inch scale, look how small this is, right? This is teeny down here. So you're only gonna do, you know, to an inch. If you get things to the nearest inch, that's great. So I'm gonna say two inches, say, did I say two inches? So I'm gonna come over here and go just right about there. That's, that's actually close to a three, but oh well, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna come down here to the six inch mark and touch the little dot there. I'm gonna grab my ruler and my straight edge here. And I'm just gonna connect the dots between those two marks. Oops, a little bit closer. And now I know that that line in quarter inch scale is six foot well, three probably inches long. So that's how you draw lines in scale by just measuring the points and then drawing a line between them. And then you can also do the reverse of that when you want to draw the line. So hopefully that will uh, remind you how the scale rule works and uh, ask me if you have any